What's up guys, Leopold the Bird with some more tech and news. I know, I know, I'm not on my vacation. I said I was going to be on vacation this week, so I couldn't make videos. But my trip got cancelled because our car broke down, so we had to come back, get towed back, blah blah blah. That doesn't matter right now. And I'm sorry I don't sound very excited, even though the news is kind of exciting, but there's some other news that's not so exciting. And I know it doesn't have new... I know the other piece of news does not have anything to do with Tekken, but I cannot push it back just for the sake of keeping this video Tekken themed, because that would be very disrespectful. Um, so, uh, first bit of Tekken news. Tekken Cross Street Fighter has actually been confirmed by Harada during Comic-Con that it is very well into development. It's very far in development, actually. So, a release next year might be very possible. So that's really exciting to see. He says that the full roster has already been decided. So they're pretty far into development. So I'm excited to see what they've got for us. Because I'm expecting a release maybe late next year. So that's exciting to hear. Now the bummer news. The reason I'm so bummed out right now, despite all the good Tekken Cross Street Fighter news. Satoru Iwata, the fourth, uh, yeah, fourth president of Nintendo, has passed away July 11th. 2015. Uh, I don't even know how to keep my cool while talking about this. He was just such... He was really good. He, he was the executive producer of pretty much almost every Nintendo game since the late 80s. Uh, he was the executive producer of a lot of Zelda games, Metroid games, Mario, Donkey Kong, Pokemon, all those huge Nintendo games and some other smaller ones too like Fire Emblem and Balloon Fighter. And he created some good games as well, like his first game, Super Billiards. So he was he was a great president, man. Like e even the Nintendo Directs, he was in the Nintendo Directs. He was the directly to you that that guy. <laughs> he would direct the Directs to you, <laughs> talk about the trailers, upcoming games. He was just so much fun to have around. But I mean, I would be a liar if I said I kind of didn't if I. I would be a liar if I kind of said I didn't see this coming, because I kind of did. He's been having a lot of issues with his, health, with his health recently. He's missed out on some events, especially last year when he missed out on E3 because of this bile duct growth, I think it was, that he had. Yeah, that's what he had. That was the cut. And I thought they got rid of it, but apparently they didn't. There was just something down there that brought it back or something, and it just kept eating away at him until he eventually passed away. So rest in peace, Iwata. You were you were fantastic. I don't know who they're gonna get to succeed you, but I hope it'll be someone good. Miss you, man.